Uh, did you guys see his 1400 his uh, shrug off of 1400 city workers who are out of work what were your thoughts on it just that that's his arrogance you know that's how he is he he says that he promises to speak to the people and i'm gonna work with you and we could do this together but he already knows that he's gonna do what he want to do in the end uh he basically showed that he don't care about you know the minority he just cares about uh, actually, people that are making millions in this city. Why is that? Hello, my name is Siobhan Bramman, and I am in Times Square, and it is April 6, 2022. And I'm at the National Action Network Convention, where Eric Adams will be speaking, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to ask him a few questions. And what were you uh, hoping would happen today? Well, we were hoping to see Adams. Give us, give him a piece of our mind. You know, he wants to mask our children, keep the mask on. You know, he's talking about another so-called variant that's coming. He needs to leave our children alone. Uh, entertainers and athletes can work, um, but the people who who pushed out the the most work, the, the the essential workers, the firemen, who worked regardless during the pandemic. Now they're the last ones who are actually able to go back to work. So, And uh, his answer to everything is always, well, all they had to do was just take the vax. All they had to do was be responsible. Um, you know, no, no consideration of their rights, their privacy, or maybe they've already made a wise decision for themselves. So a lot of that stuff has been ignored by the, the powers that be, the Department of Health, the mayor's office all this time. So. You know, let us make our own decisions. With voting rights, voter suppression, and criminal justice reform. We've got to deal with how we make our people safe, but at the same time, don't unleash the police on us. We have a double problem. Black community, we have to run from the cops and the robbers. Thank you to all those here gathered here today for devoting your time, energy, and talents to defending Americans' civil rights. Democrats are proud to march alongside you, united by President Biden's visionary leadership and unwavering commitment to justice. In the early 80s, there was a security for Jesse Jackson when he decided to run for President of the United States, moving around this city with him, going off duty with members of the organization saying, we're not going to lose another king. We're not going to lose another mountain. We're not going to lose another Mega Evans. We're not going to lose another leader in our community. We decided to wrap a security around him. I'm the person that decided, let's bring the people together in law enforcement to protect Sharpton and those two beautiful daughters of his right now to make sure when they threaten his life, he can be there. So Reverend Al Sharpton spoke and then Eric Adams was late and then he gave a speech and then was rushed quickly through a back door. So I did not get to ask any questions. And then we heard a short video from Nancy Pelosi. And then we got a speech from the Democratic National Committee Chair, Jamie Harrison.